All right, so for this, what I did is tore it all apart. Okay. And I laid out the UVs to um, kind of fit this square. Now, it's a laborious, boring thing to watch. But I will show you, you know, a couple things that you might want to know is the fact that you can break these apart. Like if I go to this edge, I can cut it using the cutter and then I can go to UV and I can hold control and right click to shell and then now move the shell around. Okay. The important part is to always keep them scaled uniformly. So in other words, what you do is move these around after you cut them up. into an area and then you can take and take the whole area and scale it all at once so you would keep doing that until they fit a square again it's a very laborious thing to watch so i saved you years and years of therapy there you can thank me later all right now i have those are ceilings and floors so now i have to kind of think well are ceilings and floors the same no um in fact, here's ceiling one. If I right click on this, I can go uh, select objects with material, okay, by right clicking on it. And then I can go over here and I see those are now here. Well, why don't I just go control right click to shell or control right click to UV and then control right click to shell and then move those over here. So there's a lot of little tricks, selection tricks that you got to know. And now I got a material over here that's kind of representing um, floor, ceiling, walls, and something else, uh, hallways. Okay, and now I can take up this room a little bit more. So now I'll show you how I did it to begin with. Okay, I start out by making a square. Then I take that square and I scale it out. Then I decide, is that the way it should be? And I give this the analogy of Tetris, because that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm playing Tetris. Okay, now if I take this and move it to the center, can I scale it again? I could probably get a little bit more out of it. Again, it's like watching paint dry on a cold day. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna say, hey, if you can get it yours to be the max fit in there with hardly any spaces between it, you're, you're going to be a very valuable asset to any company that plays Tetris for a living. Okay. And do they have to need to be laid out the same? Absolutely not, because one's ceilings and one's floors.
I don't like how this is going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and scale these both this way. And this one, I can't scale any further. Maybe just a little bit. It's like that. Also gonna move these down just a little bit. You wanna stay as close to the edge as possible, but you don't wanna get dangerously close to the edge. So there we go. Now our level looks a little bit more uh, laid out. And what I did is basically I had it all laid out in one square, and then I dumped it into four different square units. Okay, now, of course, all your tiling is foobard. Okay, foobard is a technical term that says, yeah, now screwed up beyond belief, and you have to fix that. So, to fix that, all you have to do there is go into each one of these. Let's say I work on walls first. Click on a wall, click this button, this one right here, and it allows you to tile all the walls out. And then you can fix how many times this is really repeating. So in this case, I want only 10 and two, okay? And the more you can get it down, the higher resolution it's gonna get. So work on that. In this case, I probably can tile it 10 times. And I'm gonna fix these, each one of them. So I'm gonna have to get, keep going to each one. This one's going to be now 10 and two. So you have to fix the bump map, the color map, and everything else. Okay. All right. Now, by the time I do that, I'll meet you back in the next video.